Welcome back to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogley's Guitar Show. Today we're taking a look at this 2018 69 Custom Shop Stratocaster for Fender Friday. Now despite this thing actually looking like it's been road worn for years, it's just what Fender considers their heavy relic job. You've got things like dents and dings on the headstock, I mean you can definitely see it here on the side, I think that looks a little bit cheesy, but you know, it is what it is there. Fretboard I'm actually a big fan of, not necessarily the wear marks right here that they make, even though it definitely gives it a cool vintage vibe, but what I like is the finger gunk that they have in between each of the frets. I think that's what makes me like these aged fretboards, because it makes the frets appear darker. So it kind of has a cool vibe there. Now, as far as the body aging, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this either. But you see when there's like a dark area in this wood, that's where they've gone through and roughed it up. Like that doesn't feel smooth. It's nice and kind of, you know, raw wood feeling in a high traffic area. However, the areas of the wood that are not dark, they're more smooth feeling. For example, right here on the side, there's actually just a clear coat gloss right there. But if you get up close, you can see there's other relicking things. This is a true nitro finish. So you do have some of that finish checking on it. And I've got to say, fenders, Finish checking looks a lot better than the aged Gibsons that I've had. I'm not sure what type of techniques these guys use, but you know, Gibsons has always just looked like somebody took a razor blade to it. So it's kind of interesting to get to take a look at an aged custom shop fender. And to be honest with you guys, this is my first custom shop fender that I've owned. I featured that Tough Dog Telly a little bit ago. That's not technically my guitar, but this is at least the first custom shop Stratocaster I've ever laid my hands on. But what I really loved about this instrument is the way they've done this neck. I think it looks terrible in photos, that quick transition into this, but when you start playing this, then you understand why people want these. So there is kind of a very drastic difference in feel. I mean, this is full gloss, and this is more like that velvety satin feel. It feels like an instrument that has been worn down over the years. Now, it's not exactly the same, but it definitely mimics that vibe, and it makes it a very comfortable guitar to play. The 69 Stratocasters in 2018 were offered in a multitude of different finishes. You can get a new old stock one that looks brand new, or these heavily relicked ones in varying different finishes, including painted overs, but you can also find some with a humbucker in the bridge position instead of a single coil. Spec-wise, this is a two-piece alder body. You've got the big fat headstock of the 1969s, kind of similar to what Hendrix played at Woodstock. I think that's why people like these things. But you have an Olympic white finish. Is in person, it kind of has like almost a mint green vibe to it. So it's not completely white. So I was a little bit happy with that when I got this. You've got just a straight up maple neck with a skunk stripe here. And it's the 69 U shape according to Fender. And they utilize the Sanco 61. 105 frets so they're fairly tall here definitely very easy to play and this fretboard has a nine and a half inch radius and the one last thing i want to share here is it, these ones come with the bridge cover i think these things always look cool especially on telecasters not as much on strats but you can just take that off real easy if you don't want it on there unfortunately i'm not a huge fender historian buff so i can't really add much value to this instrument besides appreciating its custom shop nature Let's go ahead and tear it apart and see what's on the inside. So I might not know tons about strats, but opening up this thing was kind of interesting. There's a bunch of different markings in here. So your neck pickup route, it reveals it's the 69 style Stratocaster and it's a relic job. Just in case you're ever confused if somebody actually bought this and played the crap out of it or not, it'll tell you under there. You can also see it right here, it's stamped relic. It looks like there might be some sort of signature right here. It's kind of hard to make out. Then your middle pickup position, I'm not sure what that means, but nothing in your bridge. But within your route, it looks like it tells you the original color, Olympic white. But this is like a really thick feeling pick guard, especially with this like shielding plate on the back. You can see it says HWLD and then has the date of manufacture on them. So these are supposed to be the hand wound 60s pickups. And there you can see the pots and three way switch. Here's another cool little feature. I never noticed this on the saddles before. It says Fender Patent Pending. And I like how aged the plastics look and you almost have like a gold color on your fonts. 
But we'll take another look at that relic job here. I mean, it's not necessarily my favorite thing, but hey, it's kind of got a quirky vibe to it on its own. I think the light over beneath my bench really helps you see all that finish checking even more. Kind of just like a cracked egg shell here. Take a closer look at the fretboard here as well. And then the fat fender head with Schaller tuners. I get a 1.64 inch nut width, which increases to 2.01 at the 12th. A neck depth of 0.87 at the 1st, which increases to 0.94 at the 12th. And this features a 25 and a half inch scale length. Moving on to the back, if you wanted to take off your back tremolo cover, that's what you'd be left with. Looks like they did some relicking under here as well for you. Huge patch right there, and then just some spotted wear along the edges here and especially a lot of wear down here. But this feels more smooth. You have a serial number of R91697, and once again, your maple neck back here, and your custom shop decal. With everything back on it, this example weighs seven pounds, 14.3 ounces. And if you don't like the ashtray, you can save yourself about an ounce. Now that we know everything there is to know, let's go ahead and hear its tones. This instrument retains its original Fender Custom Shop case. You can see it's still got the protective foam over the handle too. And inside here, it says Fender Custom Shop. It's a nice dark red color. And all your case candy is right under here. It has a 2017 custom guitar design guide. You've got your certificate of authenticity in here which tells you all the specs of the instrument right there as well. That's a really cool feature. And they also give you a strap that's actually worth using. I mean, this thing's really nice feeling. And then some additional case candy in there. If you think you might be interested in being the next owner of the 69 Custom Shop Stratocaster, feel free to check out that link in the description that will take you to the Reverb for Sale page. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.